Good morning and welcome. It is Wednesday the 20th of April. I am Flat Cap Callum and I'm hoping you are all very, very well. Today is a special day. Today is the channel's 100 day birthday. So I launched the channel 100 days ago. I genuinely, I can't tell you uh, how overwhelmed I've been with how well it's gone. I didn't know if anyone was going to watch it, anyone was going to be interested. It's a fairly niche topic we're doing on here. It doesn't appeal to everybody around the world. But yet some of you have found me and seem to appreciate what I'm doing. So I'm genuinely massively grateful for all of the people that watch, that like, subscribe the videos. Um, it's massively surpassed any expectations I had 100 days in. That is where we are. So uh, delighted with that. To celebrate the 100 day birthday, what are we doing? We're going to do a review of yesterday, normal staking day, £20, and we'll do a golf bet. That's what we will do for our 100th birthday. So, yesterday, I got 11.29 back off £10, so a very small profit, but as most of you know, it was a bit closer than that um, to, to, uh, to being a bit more. So, uh, first one, Pedic side uh, did what I said it was going to do. They didn't all quite do what I said they were going to do, but it did. 50 to 1, it placed at third. Parachute looked like it was going to be really involved. It only got fourth at five to one. That was good enough for Skybet. So for those of you with Skybet, if you've got 50s and 5s, you've done a lot better than, than the channel 28s and 4s. And then most of you will know, Gertrude and Gloria's Charmer, to finish us off, they needed to come fifth, and they both were a very close sixth. Um, could have had a very different outcome there. That was bet one. And then bet two, we had a very similar story. The City's Phantom... Um, that was my win horse for the day. That one by an absolute street. Uh, 72 was the, was the SP, so that one shortened in. We then had Outrage at the bottom, um, 8 to 1, but they did, there was a I think 25p rule 4 deduction because there was a horse withdrawn at the start. But it was placed third, sixes, uh, or five, could be five, not sure, SP, I can't remember. And then the same two Wolverhampton horses <clears throat> were a close sixth. So, very small profit. The point is, you take what you've got. We could have won a lot more. There'll be a lot more days where we could have won a lot more than there'll actually be the days when we win a lot more. Um, that's part of the fun or, or not fun, depending on how you look at it. All right, I'm going to whiz through today's bets. I've got four bets, three lucky 15s of equal um, stake but different value. Um, and then I've got a win tricksy, and I know I keep uh, going on about these. They are in profit for the channel, but the, recently they've just been not great. We've either been picking up no winners or one winner. I'm trying again today um, with a win tricksy. So, what have I got? Uh, bet one. So, this is uh, flat turf lucky 15, we'll call it. And all three lucky 15s today are 18 pence each way lucky 15s. It's the way I've done the math to round it up. Um, so they're all 18 pence each way, lucky 15s. So 215, where's Diana? 14s, 430 Catrick, OB Joe, 9 to 1, 505 Catrick, round the island, 14 to 1, finishing off with 740 Salisbury, Eagle 1, 8 to 1. That is bet 1. We then go into bet 2, which is the win Trixie. So We've got here 250 Catterick, my box max 9 to 4, 530 Lingfield, Queen of Burgundy 11 to 4, 710 at Salisbury, Alpine Stroll 100 to 30. I've done that as a 45p win Trixie and two one pound win singles on the bottom two. They're the slightly bigger prices, but there's also more value in those two, I would say. So um, for, for double reason there. Doing the singles and nodes, I've left out my box max for a single. I've just done it of Queen of Burgundy and Alpine Stroll. Okay, then we go on to bet three, which is our random odds and sods bet, I think we'll call it. Um, so three o'clock at Perth, there's only five runners in that race. Um, Say, Sayo, nine to two. And then we've got 3.50 at Ludlow. This one just shortened up just before I did the video. So I've done what I don't do often, as I'm calling it as SP, because it's gone into 4-1, to one, which is a bit too short. I'm hoping it's going to bounce a little bit. At the end of the day, if it places or it wins at 4-1, to one, I'll, I'll take it. But I would like that price to be a bit higher. So I'm taking SP on Bella Bow in the 3.15 Ludlow. We've then got our old favourite, Ruby 2. I think we've backed it three or four times. It's placed every time apart from one. Going again today. There's no extra places on that race, but it's worth a go. 4.41 at Perth, Ruby 2. And then finishing off, 7 o'clock at Lingfield, Gonzaga, 12 to 1. 
That is an 18 pence each way, lucky 15, bet three. And then bet four is the Belly's Town, um, lucky 15, where there's a lot more value, I would say, in the prices, but it's risky. Um, so what we've got at Belly's Town, um, 435 Geological, we're going to go with the old boy there at 40 to 1. Um, you know I like an older horse, so we're going there, Geological is 10, 40 to 1. 545 Harry's Hill, 7 to 1. That's the short one in there. Then we've got 620, Born to Rule, 33s, and 650, Go Large, 25. So we've got some beefy prices in that one. <clears throat> but the same bet, 18 pence each way, lucky 15. The value is increased, but as is the risk on that. So I've done it as the same stake. Um, so that is a bet for. I've literally breezed through those today. So any questions, shove it in the comments. Um, and then I'm going to get on to the golf. So golf's a bit weird this week because you've got um, the Zurich Classic, which is like a pairs competition. Um, not really my bag in terms of picking. Um, there is a, a tournament on the Seniors Tour, the Club Court Classic. Um, and then we've got the on the European Tour, the ISPS Hander Championship. This is what I've come up with for us for this week. It's a 650 bet, small bet. Um, so I'm going kind of fairly safe and solid on two and then I'm going to go for some big prices on the third and see what we can do so Zurich Classic I'm going Palmer and Scheffler Scheffler's obviously well done but one Palmer's got a good um, history in the tournament 10 to 1 we're going in there um, so they're in for, for the Zurich Classic Club Court Classic Retief Goose and third favourite 11 to 1 I think there's there's a, there's a bit of value in 11 to 1 um, even though that is a big golf tournament um, and then we're going for some biggies in the Hander Championships. So I've got Justin Walters, 125, Alejandro Canizares. There are two Canizares, Alejandro Canizares, 200 to 1, and Ashley Chester's 300 to 1. And I've done that as 7 cross 10p each way doubles and 3 cross 10p each way trebles. What I haven't written on there that I have just realised, that's the doubles and the trebles. Um the top two, 75 pence each way singles. And those three, 25 pence each way singles. So hopefully that's clear. I, I might write that in the comments because um, I've missed it off there on the paper. Um, but yeah, the top two, 75p each way win singles, each, so each, each way singles. And the bottom three in the Handed Championship, all 25p each way singles. Hopefully that is clear enough for you. All right. That is what I've got. You enjoy your day. I will celebrate the 100th day of the channel birthday. Um, and I will see you in the morning. There's a lot of racing on um, again tomorrow. Uh, haven't looked for it in any detail. So I'm not sure where we're at with it in terms of um, opportunities and stuff. Um, but I shall have a look. And I'll be back with you in the morning. Thank you very much indeed.